<clears throat> Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy, Green Pastures Farm. I know it's windy out here, but I'm making a video anyway. Um, what we've done is we tore out the uh, old high tensile wire uh, corral that we had here. So we had a five wire, a five wire <clears throat> enclosure here of high tensile. So we run cattle out of the chute. This area here would catch them and their baby cat. And uh, it worked. It worked for 20, 22 years, kind of. But when you put a baby calf in here with the high tensile wire, a lot of times they were just born. They didn't know what hot wire was, and they'd run through it. And you'd find them out there in that paddock, and the mother would be in here. And she'd be bawling for it. Well, the calf got shocked when it went out. And he wasn't coming back. He was laying out there in them weeds because he knew a predator had, you know, hurt him when he ran through the wire. And uh, so we've never had a good gate on this barn. And so, we, you know, we got the new Lakeland Easy Catch put in there. It's a tremendous head catch. Got it mounted on uh, scales now. We got some time here in the fall or early winter and we're just gonna do it up, do it up right. So we uh, lined that whole area in there with rock. It's waste rock, it's inch and a half minus. And uh, so we got a couple pins back there if we wanna put a cow calf up or whatever. You got a first calf heifer you gotta give some attention to. You know, any, any cow that does that to us that so we have to handle them uh, excessively like that you, you know just bringing them in uh, we mark their number down and we sell them and uh, those animals are sold at the sale barn we don't sell them to anybody no customers to start their herd with because for whatever reason the, the heifers you know she didn't do what she was uh, raised to do and that's to raise a calf without any intervention but this is nice I mean the boys and I been working on that we put a 16 foot gate here that's a new one and then you see all those posts all the way around here those are eight foot centers and uh, we've got eight inch nine footers um oh, check this out thank you jacob. I know jacob watches jacob is one of our uh, interns slash farm managers years ago and he was a blacksmith and he made me we gotta put some grease on it. He made me these wheels. Check that out. You talk about uh, craftsmanship. Look at that. He made that by hand. Then we just bolted it on today to the gate. So the gate, the, the advantage of having a nice big old wheel like that is you don't need an H brace out there because all the weight, all the weight is on your wheels. And uh, we're gonna put a piece of tarp a big heavy duty rubber right here on each side to close this gap up just so baby cats can't hop through that but i'm telling you what folks look at that i mean it is unbelievable nice i have to give jacob another kudos thank you again jacob um yeah i wish i could build stuff like that out of metal <laughs> i mean if it looks like a professional. Look at that. It's got the spindles and everything just perfectly. Yeah. I don't know how he does it. But he's a master in his trade. I'll, I'll give him that. And uh, so we're going to... we got the gates put in today. Tomorrow we've got the 2 by 8s And there's all the 8-inch posts, the 9-footers. And... Uh, so these are going to be basically put on just like this across the road. This is our Airbnb. And this is kind of our parking lot where everybody parks. Um, this keeps them from driving up to the front porch. But we use two by sixes over here, but for cattle corral, I'm, I went with two by eights just to give me a little more strength. This is what we're going to do. Instead of using cedar though, I'm using CCA treated nine footers and there'll be three three two by eights with the cattle panel uh, drove on with galvanized staples 
so the cows go up against it like that they're pushing on the cattle panel against the two by eight uh, one of the things that i've learned in the passage is that board there on the bottom don't get that too high if a, if a cow can get her nose under there uh, she'll push up on it and she'll break that board and she'll bend your cattle panel um, if a cow does that why is she doing that you're probably pushing her too hard or she's one of those that needs to be made into you know burger she's a goof she's a goof and cows that are goofy i don't have any time for them they don't belong on my farm and if you get rid of those goofy ones the ones that just some cows are goofy and um if you have a goofy one just eat it don't breed it eat it but yes yeah, it's coming together tomorrow we'll probably get all these posts set we've got uh, the digger that goes on a skid steer it is run by hydraulics man i'm telling you about that thing those are uh, nine foot posts folks you only see four and a half foot of it there's four and a half foot in the ground so anywhere we have a gate on that end has got two bags of sackcrete then the rest we're using that uh, inch and a half minus right over there in that pile of rock and we're tamping it i'm telling you what now this post it is like a tree then we're going to fill in behind this with boards so the cows when they're in that barn they can't even try and get you know they'll do it if they got an opening in there they get their head in there and they're trying to get out to get just to do whatever don't learn to see uh bottlenecks like that and take care of it this is all going to be filled in over here and we're going to have a latch mechanism right here that you just close that gate and it latches so no chain just a good heavy duty steel latch be i'll show you that when we get it installed it's really cool and uh we went with all two inch you can buy inch and a half pipe but you're wasting your money um inch and a half is a lot lighter duty and uh it will bend if the cows get up here and push on that for whatever reason they're going to bend your gate and now you've got a ruined gate okay uh, i just told jan i said we got it <laughs> now we got the other pretty red gates these are two old 12 footers I have, but they're two inch and they're really good shape. I'm like, you know what? They just need a little tender loving care. And uh, I'm gonna bring my high speed grinder up here with a brush, knock the rust off these puppies. And they're gonna look like those nice pretty red gates over there. And I'll paint Jacob's wheels too, to match it. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of give you a precursor. It's coming together, it's our first day on it. And tomorrow it's going to look a lot different. Um, we get a full day put in on this. It's going to come together pretty nice. So y'all have a good one. And uh, we'll see y'all down the road. Hit that subscribe button. And check out our documentary coming out on uh, December 16th. Uh, there will be a link. And at the bottom is a description on this video. And it's free. They came up and did a documentary. Uh, Justin Rhodes. Uh, it's going to be a live a live viewing with question and answers after the documentary and it's, the documentary is on us uh, basically what it took to get this thing going and share a lot of what we're doing out here so hope to see you there at that uh, live screening and it's going to be December 16th at oh gosh 7 eastern time yep 7 eastern time Y'all have a good one. See you next time. Oh, hit that subscribe button and the like button on the way out. Really appreciate it, folks.